Did you know that you can 3D print right from Onshape? Take a look. First, choose the document you want to 3D print and open it. Next, you want to select the part that you want to 3D print. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to hold the Shift key and select this so that it selects both parts, the outer and that inner cube. I'm going to right click and export. Now this is important. You want to name your file. The format is STL. Units, 3D printers typically like millimeters. Now if you have more than one part like we have, you can export unique parts as individual files, meaning it will take those parts and create a file for each part. Now in this case, because the cube is stuck inside of there, we're not going to choose this. But if you had a multiple part object that you wanted to assemble, you could select this and it will print those objects separately. And now I'm going to choose OK. I'm going to put it in my downloads. Now with this file, what you could do is you could take this to anywhere that has a 3D printer and you could ask them, hey, can I print this for a price? Typically they want to charge you something for printing. Now, if you go to a high school um, or a tech school or even a lot of libraries nowadays will have 3D printers. They might allow you to print a small object because you're a student. There's also print services online. Here's one that I found. All I did was I googled 3D print service online. I clicked on this one and you can get an instant quote. You'll need to upload the STL file. Usually in a few seconds it will show you how much it would cost to print that object. 3D printing, pretty cool stuff.